Assalamu alaikum everyone, in episode 7 of Crash Course Spine, we will be adding IK constraints to our character. IK constraints will help give this character natural movements in the limbs and will eventually save us a lot of time in the animation process. We shall start with the right leg. We hold down control and select the thigh and shin bone. We go to the tree view and click on new. From the options we select IK constraints. Now we click where we need our new IK constraint to appear. In this case, I want it to appear near the tip of the right shin bone. We quickly give it an appropriate name. In this case, I shall be naming it right leg IK. This red circle is our IK constraint. When I move this, the entire right leg flexes with it. Had it not been for this IK constraint, we would have had to manually rotate the leg bones individually when animating our character. You see how useful setting up IK constraints can be to the entire project? Moving on, we select the left thigh bone and the left shin bone and click New. We select IK constraints from the menu and place it near the edge or the tip of our left shin bone. I'll call this left leg IK and hit OK. Lastly, we check and make sure we are satisfied with the IK setup by moving the red circle around. When we are happy with the results, we can move on to the torso and later both the arms. To add an IK to the torso bone, we select it. Then we go down here and click on New. From the menu, we select IK Constraints and now we click the tip of the torso bone to add the new IK. We can name it Torso IK. Moving the newly created torso IK, you can see how we can easily rotate our character's torso without switching to the rotate tool. Now we move on to the right arm. Hold down control and select the upper and the lower arm bones. Click new and then click IK constraints. Click to place the new IK constraint and name it right arm IK. We quickly move it around to see if everything works ok and then move on to the left arm. Again, we hold on control and select the left arm bones. Click on new and select IK constraints from the menu. Next, we right click where we want our new IK constraint to go and finally we give it an appropriate name. Now when we click this IK, you can see that the bones bend in one direction only. If you want to switch this direction, you can do so by going down here in the options settings and unchecking positive. Now you see, when we move the IK constraints, the arm bends in the opposite direction. In my case, however, I'll have to recheck the positive checkbox as I want the arm to bend as it was previously. To add an IK to the head, select it and click on New. Select IK constraints and place the new IK constraint at the tip of the head bone. Make sure to give it a proper name and hit OK. Now that we have most of the IKs in place, let's do some troubleshooting. You see right now, if we move our character in the Y direction, our character seems to curl up in a ball. We don't want this twisting motion that's going on here with the head and the arms. You can see as it lands on the ground, the legs bend really nicely. However, as he jumps in the air, there's that curling or twisting effect that makes no sense. So let's remedy this issue. Press Ctrl Z to return to the original pose. You can see here in the tree view that when we created these IK constraints, they were made children to the root bone. In our case, we want the left arm IK, the right arm IK and the head IK to be children to the torso bone instead. To do that, we simply select the three and drag and drop them under the torso bone. Now you can see the left leg IK, the right leg IK and the torso IK are children to the root bone whereas the rest of our IKs are now children to the torso bone. Now let's see what happens when we move our character in the Y axis. The curling effect of the arms and the head is gone. However, our torso bone still bends down as the character jumps in the air. Now one way to remedy this issue is to hold down control and select both the torso bone and the torso IK when you want to move the character in the vertical direction. However, there is a simpler solution to this. We click on the root bone and navigate to the toolbox and select the create tool. We create a new bone and rename it up and down handle. 
we can change its color to a dark red. Now we select our torso IK and torso bone and make them children to our newly created bone by dragging and dropping them under it in the tree view. Now when we move the up and down handle, our character no longer twists or curls. Lastly, you can see that the feet don't point to the ground as he jumps up. To do this, we press Ctrl Z so he returns to his original position and then we add IK constraints to both his right and left feet. As always, we need to make sure our IKs follow a logical naming convention. Once all of this is done, we can select our up and down handle and move it vertically. The feet remain pointed to the ground as the character jumps in the air. The entire body movement looks much more natural, especially as he lands on the ground. That's all for IK constraints. I hope this was helpful and do leave me with your questions if you have any. In the next video, I will be rigging our characters' dog tags. Stay tuned and Allah Hafiz.